Hi, Todd Warren. Of course, uh, this uh, tropical weather season has gotten off to a rather active start in the last couple of weeks. We've already had three named tropical systems in the Gulf of Mexico, Alberto, Chris, and of course, Beryl, which moved through here earlier this week. In the wake of Beryl, the tropics have gone to sleep. As you can see, the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center showing just a low chance, almost no chance really, of any development off the coast of Florida. Other models which go out a couple of weeks show that we could stay totally quiet here as we move out of uh, July and into August. Why is that? Well, the answer lies in the Saharan Desert. As you can see, the dust which is coming off of the Sahara usually gets transported across the Atlantic Ocean, and we often see this dust make it into the Arctic. In fact, we could see a little bit of it as we go through the weekend across the region. Another thing this dust does is that it does, since it's basically contained in very dry Saharan air, uh, basically limits tropical development as tropical systems rely on the moisture from the warm waters beneath them. And if this dry air gets sucked in, of course, that can prevent any development from happening and actually help a strong hurricane weaken as it encounters uh, this dry, dusty air. So let's uh, move this forward through the next uh, week and you can see a pretty good plume several plumes of Saharan dust moving off of Africa across the Atlantic Ocean. So this could be a very good explanation as to why things uh, have gone quiet in the Atlantic as well as in the Gulf of Mexico. But don't get too comfortable. As soon as the dust stops, the tropics will again wake up and our what is expected to be very active tropical system will continue.